Hi everyone! Today, I would like to go through some of the cosmetic issue I find during and after the delivery of my Model 3. And yesterday, I went to the Tesla service center to address uh, these issues. And they were able to fix most of the uh, cosmetic issue I pointed out. And some of them, they were not able to fix. Today, I would like to go through these uh, cosmetic issues I find. Maybe you will find uh, the similar uh, cosmetic issues and uh, just want to give you guys a reference. Hopefully my experience will uh, help you. First, I would like to say before I took my delivery, I heard those people saying, uh, you know, do not take delivery uh, until they fix all the issues. But my personal experience is that you cannot get into the car until you uh, take your delivery and you, you accept your delivery on your phone on the Tesla app. And I don't think they really uh, care about you're gonna take the car or not. If you don't take the car, they will give to someone else. Uh, you know, Tesla has really high demand right now. So you have to take your delivery and then you can start uh, checking the car and then you can list all the uh, cosmetic issues you find and then uh, book appointment with your local uh, Tesla service center. And uh, for my case, I have to wait about three weeks. The first issues I would like to talk about is from dashboard. And when I first sit in the car, I can find out the dashboard is very close to the passenger side of the door. And you can see when I close the door and the passenger side of the door kind of touch the dashboard. On the driver's side, you can see there's a huge gap and I can even put my uh, pinky uh, between the space. And the service center was able to adjust the dashboard a little bit and I can see there is some improvement. I can see there a little bit of space uh, between the passenger side door and the dashboard. And I can also see the space become a little smaller on the uh, passenger side. I'm happy about the results. Uh, I know it's still not perfect, but uh, I think uh, they try their best. Uh, I'm okay with the, this issue now. And the second issue I find on my way home when I was driving on the interstate, and I find out the, the steering wheel was not right in the center. Uh, it was a little bit, maybe a one or two degrees towards to the passenger side, especially when you drive on the interstate and the speed is really high. And the service center was able to fix the issue. They did alignment and they were, they were able to fix this issue. And uh, on my way back, uh, I can see the steering wheel is uh, in the center right now. Uh, I'm pretty happy about this fix. And the third issue I find was the driver's side the door was not aligned 100%. I can see uh, on the edge side of the door is a little bit uh, tilted up to the roof. So from the uh, outside, you can see uh, the driver's side of the door uh, is not 100% aligned. You can see there is misalignment uh, around the bottom part of the driver's side of the door. When you sit inside a car, uh, you can see there is a really big space uh, between the uh, center and the edge of the driver's side of the door. And I can easily put my finger in between. Um, I can even see the, the white color paint. The passenger side, you don't see uh, such a big gap. I'm not able to put my finger in between and I cannot see any paint. Um, and the, the service center was not able to uh, fix this problem 100% because they said that this is more like a manufacturing issue. They're not able to, to close this gap because they said there's a, a safety concern. Uh, they had to able to close the door safely. You know, it's just understandable. Uh, service center cannot do everything, especially, you know, there is a distance between the, uh, the structure. Uh, I think they try their best. Um, I'm okay with the, uh, their solution. Uh, it's really uh, not quite noticeable uh, if I don't pay attention. And the fourth issue I find is the, uh, the frunk. Uh, you can see the front is not aligned 100% either. And then you can see uh, from a certain angle, you can see there is uh, more space along the edge on the left side than the right side. And I forgot to uh, mention this um, during my service. So I didn't get that part checked by the service center. It doesn't really bother me that much. So I'm okay with that part. And these are the major issues uh, I find uh, during and after my delivery of my Model 3. Overall, I'm satisfied with the service from Tesla Service Center. I think they did a great job to improve the uh, cosmetic issue on my Model 3. And uh, they don't have any loaner's car and they provide me a Uber ride to the enterprise. 
and uh, I was able to uh, get a rental car to drive around uh, in town. I did some shopping and uh, had lunch. Overall, I think that was a great experience and I'm satisfied with the service I got from uh, the service center. Uh, overall, I'm really happy with uh, my Model 3. I think it is a fantastic car. Uh, I think another reason for us to focus on these issues that because there are so many forums and uh, groups point out these cosmetic issues. And uh, you know, for me, my personal experience, I can't help to look at those uh, similar cosmetic minor issues um, you know, brought up by other people. And to be honest, I may not even pay attention if I didn't read those comments or I didn't watch those videos. Overall, I think uh, my Model 3 is uh, well built and I really enjoy driving my Model 3 uh, every day. This is today's video. Thank you for you guys watching and I hope my video is helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions in the comments and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. Please like my video and uh, subscribe to my channel and I really appreciate your support. I'll see you next time. Bye.